Cheers, Dad. Cheers, man. Good morning, Shagzillas. You join me and my dad on the River Bure today. We're up on the Norfolk Broads. And I've been buzzing about this camp for ages. It's about a 45 minute drive from home. We were hoping that the sun was gonna come out and here we are. We don't know where we're gonna be staying. Just gonna wing it and uh, hope for the best. I've had a quick look on the Google satellite and uh, it looks like there's gonna be some pretty decent places for us to pitch tonight, loads of trees about. Hopefully we should be able to get a good bit of firewood. Uh, worst case, we've got the bush box, just in case we can't for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm stoked, I'm proper stoked, really loving it. You're buzzing for it, aren't you, Dad? Yeah, big time, man. Let's crack on. Well, I've got this little guy to rescue. Come out from under the seat. So I look at him, he's trying to go down now, mate. You sit tight there, pal. We're not picking up the pace today. It's all about just slowing down, chilling out. And that's the beauty of doing this, you know, we've got nowhere to be. The whole pace of life just slows down. We are northeast of Norwich. So there is a lot of motorboats on this river, but you can't win them all. I try and um, go to all these rivers where I don't see anybody for a couple of days, but I've really wanted to paddle this stretch for quite a long time. I've been to that pub before that we started at, which is the Rising Sun in Coltishall and there were dead sound of us leaving the van and that we did buy a pint and ask if we could leave the van just because it's courteous but other than that yeah chill it oh how the other half live eh Nice gaff, boat garage on the river, look at that, he's got his chops all out, thatched garage for the motors. Got an alarm on as well, that poor house. Excellent, look at you doing fine, Captain of the ship. <laughs> Big older tree. Some silver willow, some silver birch, some poplar, some oak, some more silver birch, some ash, and then big daz. Dad tree. <laughs> the wise one. It shed some bark. <laughs> Swanus. So I've just spotted a rud fish in the river. And then Dad's come out with some banging knowledge. Go on. It's not a roach because a roach's mouse like that. A rud's mouse comes up like that because it feeds off the top. Well, there you go. Knowledge with Daz. Whenever I do the kayak or canoe videos, a couple of people always comment about fishing. Fishing's something that I always did as a kid with my dad, but I never really got into it as an adult. He knows his stuff. We're paddling along here and he's telling me all these fish facts that I've not managed to get on camera, but... Yeah, knows his stuff about fishing, this one. <laughs> How's your paddle going, Dad? Sweet. Enjoying it? Like a paddle. Like a paddle. <laughs> We're about halfway to Roxham now, maybe a little bit further. Plan is, we kind of want to find a little pub to pull up and have a quick swifty, don't we? That'd be nice. Sounds good. Quick pint. Here's a little boat coming past. That is the thing about this river, you get plenty of motorboats on it. It's all been cut back and maintained nice, so you don't run into any issues with fallen trees or anything like that. Cheese boy. River snacks. A couple of 
couple of four hours in. So a lot of people back there, it was quite popular with um, paddleboarders, wild swimmers and mothers and kids, but we're past all them now. We're just doing a big horseshoe round. Still got our eyes open for a pub. Just see a heron over there, look. There's another cruiser coming round. And you know what, even coming on a river like this that's really popular with motorboats, we haven't had any issues at all, have we? No Couple of people not steering away until the last minute, but genuinely, all good. See you at the pub, mate. Cheers, easy. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. I'm a big fan of these wide beams. Call sign has eyes on the pub. Look at the amount of swans there. We took a boat out on this. Was it this river we took that uh, higher boat out on? Busted by the river police. Well, we're licensed now. Give us a wave, bar. Yes, lad. Maybe let that be a lesson to you all. I do not have a river license. I don't agree with the river license. I understand it, the maintenance and the keeping the trees hacked back and all that. But I feel like it fits motorboats more than it does kayaks or canoes. However, they've pulled us up, we've paid, everything was fine. But if you come on the Norfolk Broads, it might be a good idea to get a week's license first. What I haven't told you about is the yes. <sighs> Drama has occurred. We just thought we'd pull in there. It looked like a really good camp spot. And then we both got out, we were both set on, yeah, this is a cool place. And we've both been stung by wasps four times. I've got one on my wrist, two on this side, one on my back on this side. Dad's got one on his head, and where's the rest of them? Somewhere around your back? Elbow and back of my leg. Elbow and back of the leg. Little We're now entering rocks and broad. Maybe we'll have a quick recce, see if there's anywhere to camp around here. If not, then we'll carry on down the Bure. Five wasp stings because you can see one just here. Cheers, lads. Do you reckon we push up a bit? So that there is a legit Werry yacht. I talk about Werry all the time because I really like the beer, but that is a proper Norfolk Werry. Dad's just having a quick recce up this little dike here to see if we've got a worthy spot. That's probably a negative Ghost Rider. It looks a little bit Michael Haxon, so. Wasp sting number six, straight in my foot. Cheers, pal.
I'm gonna stick around the perimeter and see if there's anything on this side. If not, then you'll join us back on the river, but fingers crossed, because we're ready to pull in now. And that's a negative ghost rider. It was just a bit too swampy in there. There was no solid ground. It's not the worst case, but you know, we're having a free hotel, so I feel like sometimes you've got to go out there and earn it. You can't expect to just pull up on the first spot that you come to and it's going to be a winner, you know. Sometimes you've just got to graph for it. Carnage, mate. Absolute carnage at the junction here. <laughs> See, I think wild camping on the river is brilliant because we've checked out about four or five spots now and it's either been too boggy, too overgrown, too many wasps, but on the river, it's exactly as nature intended it to be. And you've just got to work with that, you know? We keep pushing, we keep checking out spots. I always say something will always present itself. You just have to work with the nature. You know, you're not gonna get a perfect spot with a nice mowed lawn and all of that, you've just got to keep sussing them out, keep checking them. Whee, we're riding the ripple. Right then my dudes, we are settled on this spot. We're right by the water's edge. We managed to pull the boats right up here. We've got the canoe tucked behind there. We've got the kayak tucked one tree back. And there's two perfect pitches here. I'm in the A-frame mesh tent again, just because the mozzies. Dad's in the DD hammock, the travel bivvy. He's got a mozzie net on there as well, so we're both covered from the mozzies. We've literally got the view over the river. with some river craft going past right there. We've got a nice little area around the back where we can have a fire. We think this is going to be our little chill out area. Fire, we've got the water there should we need it. Everything's sound. Dad's going to hammock from this tree to over there. And then I'll sling the ridge line off the same tree over to where the canoe is and then i've got the nice flat ground here so i think jobs are good and what are we Woo! saying jobs are good and big time big time let's go let's get set up we've just got set up dad's over there in the hammock with the uh, three by three above him just in case i don't think it's going to rain tonight so i'm chancing it and i'm not going to set a tarp up those regular viewers will know my loadout, but for those that don't, I'm out in the DDA frame mesh tent, got the reindeer pelt, cushion from the sofa, the merino wool blanket, and the one Tigris mat slash tripod chair. It is a little bit boggy behind us, however, there's plenty of firewood around here for us to have a little fire tonight to cook our food. We're just gonna do some burgers and that. Plenty of river boats still going past at the minute, so we're gonna wait a little bit until we get this fire going. But yeah, all set up. Boats are in there, nice and stealthy. Because I've got sport mode on, I've got the trousers drying out there. Dad's got his kit drying out just because all that paddling, it does get a little bit of water in the boat, whether you like it or not. Beer's on, let's have it. Needed a buff lake. There's a party boat coming down the river. Tinny, I'll have a tinny, go on then. Whee. Shout out Marmaduke Creations. What a beautiful knife. Finally got the burgers on the go. Got the fire going, we brought it back down to embers just because there's plenty of heat in there. We don't need to run the fire because it's really mild tonight. Pretty. Even though we're by water, if you don't need it, don't use it. So we're just cooking and then we're gonna let that die out. We're gonna save the rest of the wood for tomorrow morning. So we've got someone to cook breakfast with. Got 
burgers are looking good. And we've got some brioche buns. We've got the iceberg, little gem lettuces. A bit of red some, onion. Some red onion. What Vintage else have we got? Yeah, mature cheddar cheese. And you picked up some burger sauce. Oh, burger relish. Uh, sauce, no, burger sauce. Burger yeah. sauce. Yeah. There you go. That's on the menu. Shout out to Karen. Sounds like the party boat is coming back, but it sounds like they're coming back with a bang because that is a tune. Morning, boss man. Morning, dude. Sleep well? Yeah, mega. Comfy in the hammock? Yeah. Didn't rain in the night. Wasn't cold in the night. Nice sun coming up over them trees there. Plan is, we're going to get the fire on early because this river's going to get busy with tourists and that today because it's a Saturday and it's the school holidays. I think it's just gone seven-ish or something, hasn't it? So, yeah, let's crack it on. All right, boy. <laughs> All right, boy. You're bleeding bad. And cut to the uh, coffee <laughs> breakfast action. <laughs> Ch -ch -ch Marker. No, I just want to give a quick shout out to Fire Maple for the posh pour over coffee set. I've never ever done pour over coffee until this morning and I've made my dad one and it's like flipping rocket fuel. Because we're on the uh, the Black Rifle Coffee Co. coffee and it is strong, isn't it? The idea behind this, just put that on the top of your mug, top of your camp pot, and then you fill it with your coffee, pour it over, it filters through, and voila. And it's nice and stealth black. Cheers, Fire Maple. First boat of the morning coming up, just as we put the fire out. Now the fire's out, there's no mad dash, but we're just going to have a slow tidy up, get packed away slowly. I'm going to try and get the drone up from the camp spot and then we'll be boats out into the river and then our days paddle back. We're nearly good to go. Dad squared away all the fire pit. I'm packed away. Just got my camera bag and tripod to go in. Get the boats on. Boosh! We're out of here and the sun's shining bright for the paddle back. Representing. <laughs> Perfect morning to get out on the river. That still, no wind, beaming down sun. Oh, fish just jumped up there. Oh, one, two, three, four signets with a pair of swanus up here. I think now the signets are a few months old. The angry males aren't so angry anymore. Back past rocks and broad. Plenty of boats out early this morning. It's only about quarter past eight. Just look at the sky. Not a single cloud up there. That's got cormorant perch all over it. That's a full-blown kayaker now. <laughs> he looks comfy on that, doesn't he? He's been bossing it. Dennis! <laughs> What have you spotted? The ice cream boat. Genuinely, an ice cream boat coming down the river. Must be on the broads. Yes, Shagger! Whoop, whoop. Hey. You alright? Yeah, you. I like your ice cream. Thank you. Steven Seagull. Yeah, 
Well, we've got the hustle and bustle of Roxham behind us now. We've just come past the second bridge. Just had a quick wee stop and then we'll be pushing on. Just having a quick five minutes. Back into the more natural stretch, as you can see behind me. No boats on this side. There is further down when we get back to the pub, but general river traffic is at a minimum here. He's geeking out over all the fish. <laughs> I don't know a great deal about fish. I'm just learning from him. Daz just spotted kingfisher number six. Just flew up high and right into there. Number six for Dad, number five for me. Another thing we're seeing plenty of is dragonflies and damselflies. They're just everywhere. Wherever you look, you can normally see a little flash of blue that isn't a kingfisher, just a damselfly, but they're still nice to look at. Shout out to Lee. What are you saying? Check out his fishing rig. Okay. Watches the channel. Do well, bar. And we are not too far from the start now. We're nearly back at the pub. And then head on down to Woodford's Brewery, seeing as over in the area. We've just pitched up to the fur and feather. Dad's already gone in there, he's got a table. We just bought a couple of t-shirts, so I've just been dropping them back off at the van. We're going to have a quick pint, got to have a wherry straight from the source, brewed right behind this pub. And uh, Dad's buzzing with it, so uh, yeah, we're going to get some chips, a few onion rings and that, and then we'll be heading off from here. But let's go and have a quick look. <laughs> Scran down range. Right then, my dudes, we are fed and watered. And I think I'm going to leave the video here because we've had one epic trip. And we're just going to go drive home now. Any final words, Dad? Ah, oh, brilliant. Couple of days. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Hope you all have a great week. Peace and love to you all. Top shaggers. Ciao.